Good morning, good morning, everybody. Hopefully, everybody's having a blessed morning. This is Leonard Miles, aka Two Degrees in the CDL. I'm live from uh, Vincent's, Indiana. Um, getting ready to head back home. We got a location uh, for my company, uh, Best Veterinary Solutions, up in Washington, Indiana. So I'm getting ready to head to my truck and pick up my load and head back to our warehouse in Columbus, Georgia. This trip right here has definitely been, uh, it's been long than what I expected. But to all my drivers out there, if you've ever rolled through Virginia and West Virginia, if I-64 sounds familiar to you, then yeah, that's the route that I had to take um, on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday morning. Um, I never drove eight hours in a day. It felt like I was doing the running man. Going up those hills, when you're fully loaded, it's like, man, like, this is, this is going to be a long ride today. So I made it to West Virginia on Tuesday night. Like I said, uh, and I got here to Indiana uh, yesterday. It was a smooth ride. Um, once I was able to get through the mountains and everything, so it was just a five hour ride from West Virginia to Washington, Indiana. It was more so flat land at that, at that point, but we'll definitely talk about, you know, going up and down these mountains when you fully loaded uh, on another video. But like I said, you know, this, this trip has been smooth. And like I said, you know, we're getting ready to head home for the day. Um, last week was definitely a busy week for me. Um, I definitely wanted to shoot more content, do more video on demands for you all. But, you know, life, you know, life just keeps life and, you know, it gets in the way. Um, but I'm definitely going to make a more conscious effort, you know, to shoot more video on demands for you all. And just, you know, continue to document my journey and just let you all know how things have been going. So we're going to continue today, you know, talking briefly about, you know, finding the CDL job. And I want to talk about Western Express. Oh, Western Express. Uh, there's not much I, I have to talk about with them. Um, they didn't really get too far. Um, but I would like to know you all's opinion, you know, on this video. Once I talk about, you know, what part of Western Express I was attempting to, to do. Um, from the last video, of course, you know, we would talk about Cisco, um, and the disorganization at the Stone Mountain, uh, location, um, well, the Atlanta, I would just say the Atlanta representation up there was definitely unorganized, but like I said, I, I know that one particular location doesn't speak for every other Cisco location, so... Um, if you haven't watched that video, please go back in and watch that video as well. Um, Western, 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 Western. Shout out to anybody who works for Western Express. I see a lot of you, you Western drivers on the road. And as always, you know, just be safe while you out there. Definitely be safe. Um, I got a colleague of mine who I went to CDL school with at South Georgia Technical College in America's Georgia. She's at Western uh, right now. Um, I'm not gonna drop her name or anything like that, but you know, I know she was just telling me, you know, she wanted to do, you know, just her six months and, you know, the six months has already passed already. Um, but you know, I just encouraged her, you know, hey, just do that full solid year. Just get that full solid year under your belt so you can be more marketable to, to other companies. Um, so, you know, we, we talked about it in great length because um, she ultimately wants to find something um, locally in Georgia, you know, that she could be home every day, you know, with her family. So, so yeah, she's definitely going to do these these last, like, five months and, uh, you know, look to transition back to something, you know, closer to home. Um, she's a company driver, and, you know, she they're out, I think she told me they're out seven to ten days. Um, but that's not the route that I was going to go. The route that I was going to go was lease to purchase. And man, I didn't really know what I would, I would have been getting myself into. I'm especially watching all these videos now. I'm like, all right, yeah, I made a, yeah, that would have been a poor decision right there. Um, 
But I applied to that lease to purchase program because, you know, my thought, you know, what I'm thinking, you know, it's like, all right, this is going to be able to generate me, you know, the most money quickly as possible. Um, Cause still in the back of my mind, like, all right, I, was, I still had a full-time job with the state and I'm still doing my part-time job, you know, doing part-time law enforcement up in the Georgia World Congress Center in Atlanta. So I had money coming in, but I knew, I'm like, all right, I got the CDL. At this point, I'm desperate. Um, so desperate, I'm like, man, I'm able to go, to, I'll go with any company, you know, but I was, I still wanted to do hazmat, but with Western, Western doesn't transport hazmat. But I was like, man, F it, you know, I'm going to just jump on board with them anyway. Like, I'm just going to do it, but I'm going to do it with what's, what's more profitable. You know, that, that's what I was thinking. Um, then I just got, you know, I got to doing some research and just reading more about, you know, lease of purchase programs and what they offer, you know, different rates when it comes to, you know, what you have to pay as far as the leasing agreement for the truck each week. Um, and there was some high prices. It was some high prices, you know, overall. And what that showed to me, you know, was the fact that, hey, to really be in this lease to purchase program and like I said, you all in this industry, just let me know if I'm wrong. Like I said, you know, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still new. And like I said, you know, I can still use some type of a uh, um, direct criticism, constructive criticism. Um, but you have to really run your truck in order to really make that top dollar. Um, you have to really run that truck. Like you have to really be out there. Um, you know, more than the average, more than the average person. Um, but that was something, you know, that I was just willing to do because like I said, at this point I was ready to really get into the truck. But one thing about me is, you know, and this happened over time is that I don't, I'm not, I'm not a fan of poor communication. So if I was going, if I was really seriously interested in 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 doing the own opera, I mean, in doing the lease to purchase program with Western, I really was, but the communication barriers were just monumentous. Like I mean, I'm sending emails out, I'm sending the information out, you know, to get in touch with you know certain representatives at Western, and you know, the communication just sucked, you know. Um, I knew <clears throat> that insurance wouldn't be the same as if I was a, a company driver, but most lease to purchase programs that have like, you know, third party insurance that you could sign up with. Um, I can't tell you how many times I asked, you know, to get that information, you know, and I never, and I never received it at all. I know people get busy. I mean, I get it, but you know, if you got somebody that's really interested in doing your program, then I mean, you would think that you would reach back out, you know, at the, you know, emails and phone calls have been made, but, you know, that just didn't happen, you know, in a timely manner. Um, you know, so it was one of those things with Western. Um, and like I say, you know, shout out to, you know, anybody who drives Western. You know, if you drive a Western, let me know um, how you enjoy the company. And, you know, if you're a company driver, let me know what you do. And if you enjoy and if you're in the lease to purchase program, you know, let me know how that's going as well. Um, but I tried twice to get with Western, you know, the first time it was like saying you know, the breakdown in communication, you know, then I, I was eventually able to reach back out to him. Um, you know, but the thing about that, you know, initially was that's why I meant to say the first time I had to, you know, reached out to Western. Um they wanted me to quit my job. Well, let's just say, I was like, okay, so today's October the 12th. So let's just say they wanted me to start in a, a full week from now. You know, so they wanted, me, they wanted me to be up there like next week. So they wanted me to be up there like next Thursday, let's just say. Um, and I told them, I said, hey, I, I got a full-time job. I just can't. I just can't leave my job. I have to put in, you know, a proper notice and everything. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not able to, to, to do that. 
Um, so I find that kind of just like, like eh. I'm like me, like y'all, y'all really want me to just start and come up there next week. I'm like, no, I, I can't do that. Like, I'm just trying to find out, you know, more about you all and stuff like that. But it's like they just want to get straight to the meat and potatoes. It's like, no, I'm not about to just leave my situation that I'm in right now, you know, without getting more information. So, so yeah, at that point, I was like, eh, let me just push pause on Western. Then I double back to them, you know, around February, you know, because like I said, at this point, I'm desperate. I'm really ready to drive. Like I said, got the CDL back in November 28th, 2022. I'm ready to drive. 2023 is here. I'm ready to drive. You know, I got all these no's from this company. I'm like, hey, I'm desperate. I'm ready to get on out here. Uh, so I reached back out to Western. Of course, you know, did the paperwork all over again. And at that point, it was still going to be the lease to purchase program. And at that point, um, I was just so ready to drive. Like, I was going to go ahead and put in my notice. You know, it was on a Friday. I was getting ready to send my notice in to my job because I had did everything I needed to do as far as the paperwork for the lease to purchase program. And then I got a a call from the job that I'm, the company that I'm with now, uh, BBS, Best Veterinary Solutions. And that changed everything. That changed everything immediately. And of course we know Western was put on the shelf. So yeah, we'll definitely talk about, you know, where I am now with BBS and how that process went. But, but yeah, I was really, I was really about to get ready to, to go on up to Nashville, do this program and not and not knowing what I was really getting myself into. Like to be honest with you, like I, I didn't know what I was gonna get myself into. I mean I know I know now that that would have been a, a bad decision. But you know, I think I thank God that you know he he definitely, you know, uh he stepped in. He definitely stepped in and you know he stepped in another direction. Um and that's why I knew at that, that point right there, you know, I'm like, okay, I can't, I can no longer do hasty decisions. You know, I can't, I can no longer have any hasty decision making. I can't do things just because I want to do them. You know, it really has to make sense moving forward. So my advice to anybody, you know, um, who's new in the industry, just like I am, you know, um, really, really, really do your research and really consult with him. Consult with him first and foremost to make sure that you know the decision that you're making is the right decision. Because I knew deep down in my in my gut that Western wasn't the company for me, but because I was so ready to get out there and you know um, I was willing to do it. But you know, like I said, he stepped in. And, you know, he definitely uh, got me to where I am now. Um, but like I said, you know, I haven't seen. I've seen some videos when people talk about Western. Um, you know, I won't get into, <laughs> you know, those videos as far as what people have to say about Western, you know, you know, you can definitely look them up yourself. You know, some people, you know, they know the reputation of them, but yeah, definitely do your research on different companies. But like I said, shout out to Western, you know, and definitely let me know in the comments section um, what you feel about Western. If you're a company driver with Western, how long have you been there? What do you think about the company? And if you're at least a purchase uh, driver with Western, let me know in the comments as well. You know, how's that working for you? Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Like I said, I'm just out here just, you know, telling my telling my story. You know, just want to inspire others, you know, to, you know, go after, you know, the things that they want in life. But until next time, you all be blessed. And all my drivers, y'all be safe.